Hello, you are most welcome once again to this other lesson. And the previous lesson we looked at the cooking utensils and also we made some sentences using the words that we had learned. Today we are continuing and we are going to make some sentences using some of the most common words uh, uh, that are used in the conversation during the cooking. For example, you might need to go and access, maybe buy some uh, things, or maybe you clean things, or maybe you borrow things. So we want to use those words that are used in the, in the process. For example, one word is kugura. Kugura. Kugura is to buy. So, and kugura is a verb. So you could say kugura. Kugura is a verb. And if you are making a sentence in the present continuous, you would say ningura. Ningura. For instance, you may say ningura omushio. Ningura omushio. To mean, I am buying a knife. Ningura omushio. And if it is past tense, you would say nkagura. Nkagura is past tense like I bought. Ningura is I'm buying, nkagura is a boat, and ndegura is a will buy. So you could say nkagura o mushio, nkagura o mushio, nkagura o mushio, to mean I bought a knife. In future tense, you would say ndegura o mushio, ndegura o mushio, ndegura o mushio. Some people would say, Ni nyeja kugura o mushio. Ni nyeja kugura o mushio. I will buy a knife or I shall buy a knife. Ndigura o mushio or ni nyeja kugura o mushio. You could again say, Ni ngura ekikopo. Ni ngura ekikopo. So how could that be in, in English? Ningura ekikopo. Alright, the English version would be I am buying a cup. I am buying a cup. Or you could say Nkagura ekikopo. Nkagura ekikopo. Nkagura ekikopo. To mean I bought a cup. Ndigura ekikopo. Ndigura ekikopo. Or, ni nyeja kugura ekikopo. Ni nyeja kugura ekikopo. The only disadvantage with ni nyeja kugura, it may have another meaning, which may say, I am coming to buy. So, the, sen the sentence can also mean, I am coming to buy. But some people use it to mean I shall buy or I will buy a cup. The other word is kuchumba. 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 Kuchumba is a verb which is to cook. To cook, for example, you could say ninchumba. Ninchumba. Ninchumba is I am cooking. I am cooking. Nkachumba. Nkachumba. Nkachumba is a cooked. I cooked. Ndichumba. 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 Oh, ninyija kuchumba. Ninyija kuchumba. Is I shall cook. I shall cook. So you could say, Ni nchumba o mucheri. Ni nchumba o mucheri. To mean, I am cooking rice. Nkachumba o mucheri. Nkachumba o mucheri. I cooked rice. 
Another word is kogia. 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 Kuo. Kuo. Kogia. Kogia is to wash. For example, you would say, ni nyogia. Ni nyogia. Ni nyogia is I am washing. I am washing. Ni nyogia. Nko gia. Nko gia. Nko gia is I washed. Ndiyo gia. Ndiyo gia. Ndiyo gia is I shall wash. So you say, ni nyogia esafuria. Ni nyogia esafuria. I am washing a saucepan. Nko gia esahani. Nko gia esahani. I washed a plate. I washed a plate. Ndiyo gia ensoha. Ndiyo gia ensoha. I shall wash a pot. Those are some of the sentences we could make using these words. So I request that you make practice using other words or make sentences but mostly using the words kugura kuchumba and kuogia when we meet next time we shall add on this and also we look at most common spices here in uganda i wish you the best and have a wonderful time